Okay, hey. Um, this video is going to be about uh, kitchen witchery and I will be going through a meal that my friend and I had prepared. So um, I do have clips but my camera likes to shut off so I'm gonna have to go back in and try to stream all these small clips together and hopefully it doesn't look just horribly chaotic and um, so yeah I'm going to be this is through my editing phase and I realized I needed kind of an introduction to why we chose some of these things um, we chose a lot of foods that are not horribly out of season I mean some things were but they're more considered winter comfort foods so that's mostly why we chose everything um, I can't no we we basically went off of our what we felt was best and um, to go over the menu with and I'm a little distracted my cat is sitting on me um, but yeah so I will be starting up off the old clips and I will break in uh, with more explanation since clearly a lot of that needed a little bit more uh, insight to what we were actually doing. Um, a lot of it didn't actually get filmed because my camera shut off and I wasn't always sure of when it shut off. So um, yeah, I lost a lot of stuff that we were talking about. My friend does not want her name or her face shown so I also had to make sure that all of the edit cuts did not include anything um, that could identify her and I'm being really trying to be sympathetic to um, her not wanting to be exposed in pagan videos online and she may change her mind in the future but at now uh, presently she wishes to remain off the camera so you'll see her hands and her talking but we I kept her name and her face out of it so uh, yeah so I will get into the clips now okay hey everyone um, soon I'll be going over to my friend's house to shoot a kitchen witch video um, it is for the Sabbath uh, candle moss now normally uh, we do not actually do anything um, in the kitchen related for this Sabbat because my friend and I we often go to winter feast which everything's already cooked for us but we're still going this year but I decided I want to make a kitchen witch fishy videos this year so I will be going over to her house and we have prepared a simple menu um, and it's just something that I thought would be fun for us to do and for if you want to follow along. Okay, hey guys, I am at my friend's house still. She actually had run to take her daughter to dance and left me in charge of starting the drink part of our meal. I don't know where anything is, so I've been rummaging through her cupboards trying to find measuring cups and I need a wine screw. <laughs> or I have no idea. This is going to be fun. So, I I would show this on camera of me rummaging through all of her stuff, but I'm pretty sure she would not like that. So, I'm going to turn off the camera and I'm going to go hunt for what I need. I do have the ingredients on the counter, so I just need to be able to like open my wine and stuff. <laughs> and she's got the cock crock pot, so I got to get that going. Alright, I was able to find a corkscrew and open the bottle. I have already added the pineapple juice, orange juice, water, um, cloves, nine whole cloves, three sticks of cinnamon, so um, whole sticks and let's see, um, I still need to find where her sea salt is and where she stores her honey. So I'm still on the hunt. Okay. So we're back, got the, said I got the wine open, and I don't know if I 
This is a local winery that's just outside of our city. Uh, it's wonderful people that run this and they have really good taste in wine. And we're just going to wait for our crock pot to heat up before we can strain out the cloves and cinnamon and then add that. I did was able to find her her sea salt, so yay. <laughs> and we and she's finally home too, so she's getting the honey. So we are almost set with the drink. And oh well, uh, our chicken is marinating, so we're getting that prepared. We're gonna get the garlic chicken going in a bit. Okay, so we got our qu quarter cup of honey. This you said where was it? Clover honey from Kansas. From Kansas. It's local-ish. Ish. <laughs> A friend of mine's brother owns the honey company. Mm -hmm. It looks delicious. I just want to drink it. <laughs> oh, that looks good. It smells so good. Oh, now that smells like midwinter. Or cloves. Cloves and cinnamon. <laughs> yes. Same thing, right? Same thing, yeah. Cinnamon stick. There's one. Did you count them all? <laughs> no, I was not counting. How many cloves did you put in? Nine, according to the recipe. Without the cinnamon stick, we just can't get it in the little basket. Well, there'll be three of those. That makes two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cloves out. So there's one more cinnamon stick hiding down here. Or maybe not. I was going to drink that one. Well, that one won't be hard to... Huh. C. There we go. We. But we gotta let it cool before we add our red wine. Everything in this kitchen smells good. Okay, so this is only steaming a little bit now. Still, it's been turned off to cool down faster, and we can add the bottle of wine. Yay! Oh, it's turning in a beautiful color. But it's not showing up on my camera. Okay, so we're going to start on the appetizer now. Um, it's going to be a little hard to film, so I'm going to probably be taking pictures as we go along. But we're going to be making crackers. Um, and I will be adding the recipes to everything that we make down in the description below. So don't worry about that. Uh, and we will be back because I'm going to need a help and I can't hold the camera at the same time. We're going to whisk up the dry. And you could sift this too if you had a sifter instead of whisking it, but whisking works fine. See, now it's all, all the same. It all looks the same. You can't see the two different kinds of flowers. And okay, so moving on to the wet. Ooh, our crock pot's heating up and adding our lemon olive oil to our mixture. And we will see here. Um, we need a half a cup of water. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Anything else wet? Um, no, we're going to stir it until we get the uh, sticky dough. All right. Okay, you can try to get a little more video. All right, we split the dough into half now, now that we've gotten the wet and the dry ingredients together. And now we're just going to roll out this dough into a kind of a square, if we can. <laughs> Want it really thin. Crackers are not meant to be thick. Yeah, so, you know, be patient with this part. So about an eighth of an inch thick. That's why I use a thick rolling pin. Yeah, 
I'm going to keep the, we got a little flour on the surface so, so it's not going to stick to our table. Because that would be a bad thing. <laughs> and it is, it is kind of an elastic dough. It does kind of pull back when you pull on it. So yeah, being patient is definitely key here. And oh, we can preheat the oven to 450 degrees now. All right. So we're just cutting them up into little crackers and we will be dusting on water to make the surface sticky before adding any kind of desired toppings. Um, we're using we, poppy seeds and, and sesame, sesame seeds. seeds. All right, we'll get a sh cookie sheet out and we'll do the topping. Give them a little space in between so they crisp up. These are kind of big crackers, but depending on the size, I mean, you can get about 50 crackers from this recipe. Yeah, well, so. we like to put cheese on ours, so they need to be big enough for cheese. So we're just brushing on water to make it sticky, like I said before. And then we're going to add our poppy and our... Oh, where's the other one? Um, not, not over here at the moment. I'll grab the sesame then. So there's the poppy seeds. Or, yeah, I had that issue with the trying to get the cloves out. Yeah, they don't come out quite as quickly. At least there's two different spots on here, so you can have the bigger holes for sesame seeds since they're a little bit larger than those poppy seeds. And of course with your own crackers you can choose whatever you want to put on top. And if you yeah, just like pretty. if you just like sea salt, I mean that's fine too. Uh, that's not a bad idea. Just sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on them too. I know they probably we like, have a little have a little bit in there, but this is just a little extra topping. Just a little sprinkle, not much. No, I like salt, so well, it goes good with the cheese. Yeah, especially when you use like an aged cheddar, it definitely complements it. Okay, looks good. All mm -hmm. right, in the oven. So we've removed the crackers from the oven. You can really taste that um, lemon olive oil. It brings out the nice taste into the crackers. Now, if you don't want lemon, we just have kind of a lemon um, theme because we're having our dessert also being lemon. So we're starting with lemon and ending with lemon. Okay, starting with the cabbage. I don't know if I need to film this, but... I don't know either, but... let slice it as thin as possible. I don't know if you all have had cabbage before, but this stuff is thick. Okay, taking core out. Looks good. I don't know if we need a whole cabbage for this. Kind of smells like cauliflower. <laughs> Discard the floor. Okay. Large saucepan, heavy bottom pot, medium high heat. Saute. We're just going to saute this. I guess we're going to saute it in strips like this. Sounds good to me. Okay, so, this is the seasoning for the potatoes? Yeah. So, we're just making... olive oil, seasoning, salt. Mix it up, make sure you taste it. Good? Yeah, that'll be nice. All right. I'll just pop them in. And get them coated. Pop the potatoes in. Mmm, that looks good. <laughs> so, cabbage is done. Potatoes will be going in. Then we got to do the meat and 
we are ready with the main course then by that time. And I think we can turn down the, the crock pot soon. Yeah, we probably should turn it to low. Yeah, so that we can get that cooling so we can add the wine. And then, like I said, the last thing will be making the chicken and then dessert later. It smells so good. <laughs> Here's potatoes. potatoes. So yeah, we'll add the recipe in the, the description. Didn't really film much of the cake batter, but we did do a lot by taste and not really by measurement. So. Um, but we'll still put the recipe in the, but might want to try it out and like choose how much poppy and what not to add to yourself. Oh, sorry, I cut you off. <laughs> oh yeah, we added a little extra poppy seed, tasted it, made sure that it, the flavor was what we were looking for. Now it's going to go in the oven. 350 degrees for probably about 20, 25 minutes. We'll see where it's at. I'll check on it. I'm probably going to give the pan a little drop. I can't do it one handed, but picking it up, drop it a few times, get the flatten it out, air bubbles out. Just uh, the, our lemon juice, lemon zest, powdered powdered sugar. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> very simple. All right, so we're just gonna combine them. Yes. Yeah, so I just need a spoon. What? Just my camera. I wasn't sure if you were filming or if you were taking a picture. Filming. I know your camera's not always the happiest. Well, I like I said, I need a new, I need new everything, electronic. <laughs> it's a little thick. I'm gonna add a little more lemon juice to it. So that looks like a good glaze. That'll be ready, and then if you put it on while the cake's still warm, it'll melt and kind of flow down instead of being so thick. I'm only getting your hand. <laughs> Is that better? Uh, oh, that looks good. Smells good. Okay, so um, I just finished uh, editing this video. So this is the very last clip that I'm going to be adding. Uh, so I don't, I know that was kind of very chopped up. Like I said, I really do need a new camera because it's just not reliable. But I enjoyed cooking it. Um, I will leave all of the recipes in the description down below so that you can try them out. Um, they were all very good, so I do recommend them. And uh, so, I mean, we started with poppy seed. We ended with poppy seed. And hopefully that will bring us some luck. So from one uh, somewhat amateur kitchen witch to you. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, blessed be.